what's up, Calm Gang? Today we have this problem, and it wants us to reparameterize basically. So it says you have this integral, and c is the line segment from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 3. How are we going to solve this? Well, you look at this, and you're like, there's like four variables, bro. Like, what do we do about that? Well, we want it in terms of one variable. And if you want to do it in terms of one variable, you're going to have to change everything in terms of t. How are we going to do it in terms of t? We're going to manipulate. <laughs> So what we can do is we have this line segment, and we know what this line segment is. It's a vector from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 3. So we can actually write this, saying this vector is equal to, it's like it goes up 1t, so it's t. This goes up 2t. Y goes up 2t. Z goes up 3t. And if you check this out, and if you even say 0 is greater than t, it's less than 1. If you plug in t, you're going to get the same values like along this line. So we basically just reparameterize this line in terms of t. Pretty cool, right? So what does this mean? Well, this means that x is equal to t, y is equal to 2t, and z is equal to 3t. And uh, we want to reparameterize this, basically. And our formula is that ds, ds, is, ds is equal to uh, r prime t, the magnitude of r prime of t, dt. So this is in terms of t too. And we have r t. So what we have to do is find r prime of t, and then we're going to rechange our variables here in terms of t using these things. So it's pretty easy. We can do that. All right, so let's find r prime of t is equal to 1, 2, 3. Wow, pretty cool, right? Now the magnitude of r prime of t is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is equal to the square root of 14. So now we have all we need, actually. Let's set up the integral. Integral is equal to... We said our t goes from 0 to 1, right? So 0 to 1. We have x e to the y z. Well, we have that x is equal to t. So let's write that. t e to the y z. So 2t times 3t is equal to 6t squared. ds becomes the magnitude, which is square root of 14, dt. And that's our integral. Now to solve this, we're going to need to do a u sub, obviously. Not that scary. We can do it. So let me do some erasing, and uh, we can solve this now. Oops. That's to zero to one. All right. All right, let's solve this. I is equal to zero to one. Let's do a u sub. U is equal to six t to the squared. Du is equal to 12 t dt, or one over 12 du is equal to t dt. Uh, u of zero, because we're doing our bounds. Zero, plug it into this, gives you zero. U of one, plug it into this, you get six. It's perfect. It's not zero to one, it's zero to six. It's one to zero to six. Uh, so this becomes du. Uh, so it's going to be e to the u. 1 over 12, and then we cannot forget the square root of 14, d u. So we bring out our constant here, we can bring it out. Uh, so it's going to be square root of 14 over 12. And then this integral obviously becomes e to the u again from 0 to 6. And then you can rewrite this square root of 14 over 12. Uh, so it's going to be e to the 6 minus e to the 0, which is 1. And boom, that's it. That's all. Boom, that's your answer right there. Pretty simple question. Uh, ultimately, you just have to like, you have to know what to do. You just have to find R of T, and then from there you can just solve, and usually it's gonna work out for you. So just uh, keep in mind, don't forget your R of T, don't forget uh, this formula right here. This one's very important. And uh, yeah, so good luck on your calc homework, guys. Keep it up.